What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're doing some more rank 9 PvP battles. Leading off against Jokes 311 here in the first matchup. Now, in this video, we're going to be leading with the Kyogre. And we're faced off against a Metal Metal here. Now, this is a very favorable position for Kyogre. Kyogre is one of the best leads in the Master League. In terms of what it loses to, you pretty much only have to worry about Giratina, Altered, Origin, and Dialga. Now, those are three very common leads, however. Anything else covers new really well against. That includes Melmetal, includes Togekiss, Rhyperior, so it is a very good Pokemon to use in the lead. Our opponent switched on to Giratina Origin, so we are going to switch into our Dialga to counter that. And we're going to take this Shadow Ball. I'm going to go for this Iron Head. This will KO if not shielded. Our opponent does let it go down. Brings in the Rhyperior. Rhyperior is going to farm down this Dialga. Thankfully, there wasn't too much to farm down. We can bring in our Kyogre safely here though, and this Surf is going to do a lot of damage, so it's going to have to be shielded. It is, and our opponent switches out into the Melodon, who has a charge move ready. We're going to let this go through, most likely a Rock Slide. Switch into our own Rhyperior here, and try to commit to a Farm Down. Now this is going to be most likely a superpower. It's going to do a lot of damage, but it will not KO. We don't want the Rhyperior on our opponent's side to have too much HP to Farm Down on us. So we're going to take that hit, go for the superpower here, burn that last shield, and bring in the Kyogre after this Rhyperior faints to finish it off. We still have a shield, so we are in good position here. And it's actually a Surf, and we're able to farm down with the Waterfall, so good game there. And into the next matchup against Mana Stardust. And she is going to lead with the Giratina Origin, so this is not a good position for Kyogre. Uh, normally here, I could switch into the Dialga, however, because my Dialga is not a best buddy, it's, I, I don't like it going down that early and then having a Kyogre and Rhyperior left to handle the rest of the team. So what I tend to do here is just farm up with the Kyogre, go for two Surfs. Uh, against Giratina, it's a little bit different than when I play against Dialga. Against Giratina, sometimes you can only get off one Surf, so I tend not to go for the Blizzard fake bait. Uh, and just go for the Surf, and if I manage to get two Surfs, that's great. But uh, against Origin, it's a little bit trickier. It depends if they're running Ominous Twin. Uh, we're going to bring in the Dialga here after the Kyogre faints. We are down a Shield. Brings in a Machamp, so that's going to be a very hard counter to Dialga. I'm going to go for these Iron Heads here. And the Machamp will Shield. And this Cross Chop's going to do a lot of damage here. Will KO, so we choose to Shield. And at this point, I'm looking to get enough energy for Iron Head, switch into my Rhyperior to take this Cross Chop. However, this Machamp is actually running two fighting moves, Close Combat and Cross Chop, so there's no Rock Slide. And because that wasn't a Cross Chop, we are in a really bad situation now. I go for this Super Power, but uh, this game is pretty much over now. The Dialga is going to have to come in and have to farm down because the opponent still has a shield, so we're not going to be able to do that with the Dragon Breath damage. And as a result, we are going to lose this game. Very well played by my opponent there. And we are going to move on into game number three here. And in terms of the moves you want on Kyogre, uh, Blizzard may be the better move as a secondary charge move over Thunder. Uh, I like running Thunder just because of the coverage against the mirror match. But um, in general, Blizzard might be better. It's, it's a toss up. Whatever you feel more comfortable with is what you should run. Here we're leaning off against the Snorlax. This is another great matchup for Kyogre. So here you just want to go straight for Surf and Waterfall. Uh, Body Slam is going to do okay damage, but it's not enough to get rid of this Kyogre. Now here we actually uh, allow this Snorlax to get off two Body Slams before we get off one Surf, but we have enough for two Surfs now stored up, and our opponent may think that this is an opportunity to shield as a result of that, not knowing how close you are to a second Surf. And as a result of that, I do not expect another shield here. And we could pretty much just farm down here with Waterfall now. We will survive this Body Slam. And we are in a good position now. We now each have one shield and we should be able to build up to a Surf here. Depends what comes out. It is a Mel Metal, so we will be able to build up to the Surf. And this is going to do a decent chunk to Mel Metal, who is already in the yellow. And we're going to have to bring in the Rhyperior here. And be prepared to take a superpower. Now the first superpower will do the most damage, but this could also be a rock slide, so we choose not to shield. Assuming there might be bait. He brings in a Kyogre, and we have to get out of there immediately, because that Rhyperior will go down so quickly to Kyogre. 
And now we're in a very good position here. The Kyogre is not going to be able to do anything to this uh, Dialga unless it has a Blizzard. Uh, that was quite the farm up there. And it is a Blizzard. Uh, so using my own Kyogre I get to sort of understand when a Blizzard makes sense and when it doesn't. And here the Melvado comes back in. We're just going to throw the Iron Head. And we almost are able to KO there with the Dragon Breath, but our opponent's definitely farming up for two superpowers. We're going to have to come in and go for this superpower before our opponent can get to it because he probably did have a superpower already or was very near it. And we're able to take that game there, so good game. And our next matchup is going to be against Dabsir King, rank 10. And this match is going to be against the Dialga lead. Now, Dialga is a very interesting lead for Kyogre. It cannot win. However, there are a few ways to play this. I usually just like to go for the two surfs. I go for the surf right away because we will get to the first charge move. However, if the opponent is running Thunder, it will KO us. So if I try going for the Blizzard Bait, and this happens to be a Thunder right here, we will get KO'd and got off no charge moves against Dialga. Now if it's an Iron Head, we'll be able to get to a second surf, and that will put the Dialga in the red. So I don't like to really gamble with going for the Blizzard, and I'd rather just get off the one surf, and potentially two if they're running Iron Head. So the Thunder was very unfortunate with us, and we have to bring in the Rhyperior as a result. They bring in Kyogre, who's going to absolutely demolish us, so we switch out immediately into Dialga. Our opponent switches into Giratina Origin, and normally this would be a very good position for us. We have uh, Dialga against two Pokemon that are weak to Dialga, and the main issue is that we are down a shield here, and because our opponent still has two shields, we're going to be in a very bad position that we can't come back from. They actually bait us as well with the Omniswin, which is going to put us in an even more unfavorable position. And this Shadow Ball here is going to pretty much end our dreams of coming back in this match. And the Rhyperior in the back is going to be, not be able to do anything. And this is going to be a very decisive win for our opponent here. And let's move on to the next match. And in this match, we are going to be paired up with the trainer by the name of Black X Thunder. And in this matchup, we're actually in with the Dialga. So this is the one game in the set where I uh, actually switched out of the Kyogre. And um, I think this was an accident to be honest, because I switched out of it after. Uh, I don't think I was trying to use the Alga lead here. Uh, I tend not to use my Dialga in the lead position because it's not best buddy. And if I happen to run into another Dialga that is best buddy, I'm going to get demolished. Uh, in this particular game actually it worked out for us because it is a Giratina Origin. So Dialga is a better uh, matchup than the Kyogre would have been. However, we ended up burning both shields there. And the Melmetal is going to come in. We go for Draco Meteor here. Our opponent doesn't shield, which is amazing for us. We got her off right before the superpower, actually. So very fortunate for us. The superpower will KO. Um, we could bring in the Rhyperior here. Our opponent actually switches out into Dialga. Which is pretty interesting. So we're going to go for the superpower here. And hopefully we can get to a second. Oh, he actually did not shield. Wow. And the Melmetal is going to come back in. And this is pretty much GG's here. Uh, the Kyogre in the back is going to be too much for this Melmetal. And we're going to be able to take this game with our opponent still having a shield left. So good game. Moving on against Demonius14. And we are back to the Kyogre lead. Our opponent's going to bring out the Snorlax. So we've already seen how this match plays out. Uh, very favorable for the Kyogre. I like to build up to two Surfs. And our opponent's not throwing anything, so I'm just going to go for this Surf here. We have a lot of energy, almost enough for two. And we get to the second Surf before our opponent could actually throw a, a move. Maybe he's not running Body Slam. He shields. Whatever he's throwing here is probably going to be a really powerful move. Uh, could be Earthquake. It's actually a super power. Very interesting. I guess they're going for back-to-back -back superpower. They've lowered their attack. And they go for two superpowers. So I'm okay with that. They bring in the Mewtwo here. And Kyogre is still in a good position here. Uh, Surf builds up a lot and these waterfalls do a lot of damage. Looks like they're running Cycle Cut so they won't be able to farm down that easily. And they do waste their energy here with the Psy Strike. And I will bring in the Dialga here. And we're in a very good position here. This should be a Psy Strike. But I shield just in case. It is a Focus Blast, but it did look like a Psy Strike there. 
And this is another side strike, not very effective, but still does a lot of damage. Mewtwo has a very high attack stat. We farm down, we have a lot of energy now. And we can pretty much just go for this Draco Meteor onto the Kyogre. This will almost one-shot the Kyogre. A lot of damage from Draco Meteor, and that's going to be a good game. And into the next matchup against Muto starts. And we are going to see a Melmetal lead. So Melmetal versus Kyogre. Melmetal, one of the most popular leads in Pokemon Go Master League. Kyogre is a good counter to it. Um, most people are running Rock Slide and Super Power, so you don't really have to worry about the Thunderbolt. Here I like to build up for the Surf. We're going to have to shield here, and we should have enough to get this surf, and almost enough for another one. We actually missed a lot of bubbles there, but fortunately our opponent did shield, and we do have the second surf ready to go. This is going to put the opponent in the low red. They actually choose to burn both shields there. Interesting. And at this point, I choose not to shield because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get to that surf before our opponent gets to a super power or a rock slide. So I decide we'll just let it go. Bring in the Rhyperior here. Gonna have to shield this superpower. So now both shields are down. We have energy on the Rhyperior, however, this is not a very favorable position for us. Rhyperior is a little tricky to play. Fortunately, they bring in a Dialga, which is absolutely amazing for us. And I wonder what they have in the back. It may be like a Heatran or something. And I managed to quickly bring in the Dialga to farm down that other Dialga before it could get off a charge move. Very good for us. Uh, there is a Heatran which is not good, however this Flamethrower will not KO and we should be able to get to this Draco Meteor which is going to do a lot of damage before we get knocked out here and the Rhyperior will be able to come back in within one Mud Slap range and just KO this Heatran before we get off a charge move and let's move into the next matchup. And it is going to be against A50 Tappa. And let's see what our opponent chooses to lead with here. It is going to be Giratina Origin. One of the worst leads for Kyogre. And one of only few leads that it loses to. So here I take the first uh, Shadow Ball. And I go for the Surf here. Uh, this was a CMP Tyros I would have built up for the Blizzard in this situation. Or rather the fake Blizzard. Uh, basically, I just want to build up to the point where it looks like it's a blizzard so that they waste their shield. Uh, instead, we get off two surfs, and they're coming to a very aggressive farm down here. And I try to bring in the Dialga to farm down before it can get off charge move. But it does get off. This is going to be a Shadow Ball for sure. Actually, it's an Omnis Wind. Wow. And I think they were trying to go back to back. Uh, Omnis Wind and Shadow Ball. Uh, in that situation, I would have just went for the Shadow Ball, especially considering how low the health was. But we got very lucky there. Uh, they bring in Dialga. We're going to switch into Rhyperior. Facing a lot of lag. We lost a lot of energy there. And we're going to get off Rock Wrecker here. This is going to do decent damage, but it is shielded. And I bring back in the Dalga. And I go for Draco Meteor here, which is a big mistake because it's going to lower our attack. And there's nothing we could switch out into. Uh, I shield this Surf, which is also a big mistake. And this match is... Well, it's not over. I mean, we would have to get to another Draco Meteor, though. But that's not going to happen. And yes, this match is officially over. Next matchup against King YNC. KNG YNC. And they are going to leave with the Melmetal. So, as we've seen, this is a good matchup for Kyogre here. And they switch out into Dialga. So, we have a lot of energy stored on the Kyogre. Bring it out. Bring in our Rhyperior. We were a little late on that switch there, and as you can see that Dialga is still in the green, which means that it is very likely to get to a second Iron Head, which is not good. So I don't want to risk and I just go for the superpower here. I don't want to risk the opportunity of it, being, sh of it uh, being a second Iron Head and us having to burn two shields. So this Melmetal comes in, actually throws a Rock Slide, and that's going to allow us to survive, and we're going to get off this superpower here. Our opponent does choose to shield, and now I have no use for this right here anymore. I'm going to let it go down. The Kyogre is more than capable enough to take out this spell metal, especially with all the energy we have stored. And there's no shields. We have pretty much just about two Surfs ready, which will be enough to KO this spell metal. And we lag, unfortunately. They switch out into Togekiss. And here I'll switch into my Dialga. 
And this Iron Head is going to be shielded, of course. But we should be able to get to a second Iron Head after this. And our Kyogre in the back is easily going to take care of that Melmetal. Choose to shield here because we are going to reach that Iron Head. Just barely. But this will KO. And the Melmetal is going to come back in with pretty much no health. And our Kyogre will survive this charge attack. Unless it's a surprise Thunderbolt. Which would be devastating. It is just a rock slide. And the waterfall is enough to take it out. So good game there. But overall with all that said. Kyogre is a very good lead. I really do enjoy using it in the lead position. Uh, there are some days where I face 5 Giratinas in a row. It could be a little annoying. But in general it does have a lot of favorable matchups in the lead. And it is one of the safer picks. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like. Comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel. I upload daily content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.